basically gone every day, I know I have a video about the Escort today, basically just go the spark plugs in the post that I was talking about the other day there, so just going to go ahead and get them fitted and take, probably take it a test drive tomorrow I would think, I've not really got enough time at night to be taking it around the night, so probably do that at the night and then just take it around the morrow morning and hopefully it's fine. Just in case you're wondering, the plugs that Jesus Christ. Just in case you're wondering, the plugs we've always ran in the Escort are Motorcraft 71Cs, just basically just the standard plugs, um, just gap down to 20 thou, and I don't know, they, they seem to be alright, but I used to change them quite a lot, I've not changed these ones in a while, it's been about a year since I've changed them. Um, you do see people say that they run them all the time without any issues, but I've also been talking to a couple of guys that run like five and 600 horsepower causes. And they all seem to be running the Champion 57Cs, so that's what we went ahead and got. They're a wee bit more expensive, so hopefully they make a difference. How's it going, everybody? It's a new day. It's first thing in the morning, the next day for when you see the gist of the taking it a test drive, basically it was still misfiring and I spent a wee bit of time trying to figure out what was happening but couldn't really get to it and then when I went home last night, Ali texted us and he said, uh, um, measure the throttle position sensor, the TPS, just to see, because obviously all the sensors were checked with the pectail monitor, but he says measure it just to see in case it's working to an extent and then failing or something like that. So I've just came in, I'm just going to try that and I'll just quickly show you how to try that in case then you just know that and you have got causes because it's quite handy. Basically the way it should work is, if you've got a Ford before, when you turn your ignition on, you put a, a one side of your multimeter on the earth and the live goes into pin 17 and you should have 0 0.5 volts and then when you go into full throttle it should go up to about 4.5 volts and it's basically just the opposite for two-wheel drive, so we're running a two-wheel drive setup, so we should start at four and a half to five volts and then four away to 0 0.5 on full throttle. And obviously I've got five volts and that's at no throttle, so that should be correct for a two-wheel drive setup. And that's me starting to put a wee bit of throttle on, so it should start pulling it down. Aye, like that, but what I was fine, I'd done this a minute ago, and what I was finding was, it pulls it down, down, down the mere throttle you get. And then once you go into full throttle, it falls away back up, which is like what we were getting on the dyno, because once it was going into full throttle, it would misfire, but if we'd done a run at like half throttle, it would do a pull, but it would only make like two and a half hundred horsepower, and then as soon as it was going into full throttle, it was just causing a misfire. <laughs> Every day, just another bit about the escort. This is a couple of days later. I'm probably just going to make all this a one video, just trying to find this misfire because it's really getting to us. Uh, I videoed a couple of bits, but I've not really videoed much of it. So I'm just going to quickly show you what we're doing now and why. As you can see, we've got like intercooling radiator out and rocker cover off and loads of bits stripped off. Basically, what I was going to do was I done the throttle body and phase sensor the other week there and. It didn't make a difference. I also got another ECU and tried that, and that didn't make a difference. So, I started just changing loads of bits, changed every sensor on it, and still no difference really. Maybe, I uh, still not really any difference. And then I decided to change the cam because we originally ran BD10s and I changed to BD16s, and just just in case, basically, just decided to go back to. But we were originally running before we had any issues with misfires or that. And when I had the belt off there, I've noticed that I put it down here that just controls like dizzy and oil pump and that is got a load of play in it, which I don't think you can actually see in the camera just how bad it is. But maybe about a quarter of an inch, half an inch, you can pull it out through the block. Which I know 
because I've, I've built a few of these and I know that you usually have a tiny tiny bit of aqua on them but nothing like this and you're also getting when you're turning it you can turn it for about half a turn no half a turn sorry half a tooth maybe even uh, it's definitely half a tooth maybe even a full tooth and it's not moving the drive inside the distributor whatsoever that's definitely not turning whilst that takes up its slack so obviously that will knock out your phase sensor and stuff like that so gonna go ahead and just change all that and then build it back up and try again basically hopefully find something just so you know I just pulled this out and taken another one out of one of the spare engines we've got and I've just got that fitted and I'm just about to start doing the timing I thought I'd just show you this first that uh, there's no play anymore and also it turns the, turns the distributor arm even with a tiny movement so just gotta get it timed up and then I think I basically just need to get it timed up and then put the rocker cover on and I can get it fired up again and see how's it going every day. It's the motor all built up, obviously went home last night just after swapping that bit there that I showed you. So it's all built up, just ready for a fire up and I've not videoed any building it up or much of what I've done over the last couple of days just basically because I don't want to keep posting the same repetitive videos if you know what I mean. I don't want to keep posting the same stuff over now and now, I still try to find the same fault. It just ends up boring. I'm bored doing it, so I don't think you should want to watch it. So just gonna go for a fire up now and see if it sounds. Obviously, I need to drive it to see if it's still misfiring under boost, but. Scott's all happy. 